Hi, I'm Emma from EV Firesafe and I'm at the Australian Electric Vehicle Association's EV Expo in Canberra. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video about high voltage systems in electric vehicles for emergency responders. So uh, when you turn out to a, a vehicle collision uh, involving an electric vehicle, any collision where the airbags have gone off or the safety systems have been engaged, the uh, high voltage battery will automatically isolate, but we can also uh, manually make sure that we're isolating all that power into that high voltage battery. So one of the first ways is to uh, disconnect the 12 volt battery by the, the accessory battery. So by doing that, which we would normally do with petrol or diesel vehicles, you're actually opening the contactors uh, to the high voltage system. So it should, uh, again, uh, on collision, it will automatically isolate. You disconnect the 12 volt battery and the contactors will open to that high voltage battery, therefore isolating that battery. Then we have a couple of manual ways that we can isolate the high voltage battery. The first is with a what we call a, an emergency cut loop. And there's also a pull fuse now there is a third way, but it's not really for emergency responders to use. There's what we call a manual service disconnect plug. It's got a few different names, but that's what I call it, a manual service disconnect plug. Um, and that should be used by, it's typically used by mechanics and repair shops to um, isolate the high voltage battery while they're working on the vehicle. So it's not really something that emergency responders should be touching, but we are gonna have a look at that as well. So this is a Tesla Model Y. Um, the high, if we want to disconnect, we want to disconnect the high voltage systems. Here's how we do it. It's the same with all the systems. Under the bonnet, we take the cowling off, and we find underneath here a cut loop. So this cut loop that's marked with a firefighter helmet is a low voltage wiring harness to the high voltage battery. So we take a chunk out of that. So we cut either side of that that uh, label there and that will isolate the high voltage battery uh, and make us a bit safer to work around the car. All right, so the Tesla has a cut loop. This is a um, Hyundai Kona electric vehicle. It has a cut loop as well, which is here and it's again marked by a label. But with this particular one, we don't need, we can, we could cut it, but uh, we can actually pull this one out. So the whole thing comes out like that. And again, that's isolated the high voltage battery in this particular electric vehicle. So they are... All right, so this is actually a hydrogen electric vehicle. So it still has a lithium battery, but very small one uh, called the Nexo, Hyundai uh, Nexo. Now in underneath the bonnet here, here is a cut loop. And you'll notice that it has the firefighter helmet on it, but the other cut loops that we've seen actually have an orange cable, so we can kind of see where, where they want us to cut. But <laughs> this is kind of tricky in under here. I can't lift this up. And as you can see, it's a, it's a black, low voltage wiring harness um, with no kind of clear instructions on where we'd actually cut this. So some vehicles have a cut loop that can be cut or it might be pulled out. Other vehicles have a pull fuse, and there's a few different types of this as well. So I'm going to show you this one. So this is the I uh, Hyundai Ionic 5. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty um, kind of nondescript. But under the fuse box here to the right of the, the engine bay, again, we have this uh, tag that's um, marked orange with a firefighter helmet on it. And it's a pull fuse. So that is now isolated the high voltage uh, battery. We're a bit safer to work around the car now and then uh, it can be pushed back in to, to make that operational again. So uh, by pulling it out, it, it could be a little tricky, you know, actually add a, add a collision to not knock that back into place, but that's all you have to do. The, the fuse doesn't come all the way out. Okay, so this is another type of pull fuse. This is a Cooper Bourne, brand new electric vehicle to Australia. Uh, and it looks like that. That you can just see there, kind of, it's in the engine bay or the, the, the front, what we traditionally call an engine bay. It's pretty tricky to get to. I've just been trying to actually pull this out, but essentially what we're doing is pulling the red and black part out of that green uh, plug there. So that looks something like, like that. 
that's what they want us to do. So this type of cool fuse is becoming, is, is relatively common. So it's in the Cooper Born, it's in the Audi e-tron, I think it was in the BMW X1. There's a few electric vehicles here that actually use this type of system as well. So another type of uh, cool fuse. Okay, so some electric vehicles don't have that uh, manual high voltage disconnect like a pull fuse or a cut loop. But what is listed in, in most of the emergency response guides is what's called a service disconnect plug. Now, this is the Polestar, and in the Polestar, the service disconnect plug is in under here. So that's what it looks like. Now, that's a direct connection to the high voltage battery. It's designed for use by mechanics and people in repair shops. It's not, uh, it shouldn't really be used as an emergency response tool at all. This is a direct connection to, to high voltage systems. And I believe this car runs up to, I think it's getting on for 500 volts. So um, just something to bear in mind that, uh, you know, the emergency response guide might talk about pulling this service disconnect plug uh, but really that's something for the mechanics and, and uh, trained personnel to, to use. So this is a fully electric truck, uh, battery capacity of about 100 kilowatt hours. Uh, battery pack as you can see is just down here to the side and same on the other side from the saddle side uh, packs. Now it's also got, uh, to, to, for us to isolate high voltage systems, really all it's got again is this um, manual uh, what we call a manual service disconnect. So again, this is designed to, you, you pull this down and out, and that will isolate all the power to this high voltage pack and not uh, you know, move it around the rest of the vehicle. But again, this should be used by uh, mechanics who've been trained uh, and, and wearing the appropriate um, high voltage uh, PPE and PPC. Um, but it's, a, it's just another thing, uh, it, it's a good thing for emergency responders to know that this is there um, and if you have some kind of incident involving a vehicle where the only t way to manually disconnect something is using one of these disconnect plugs, at least you can maybe call um, the, the manufacturer and have someone come out to, to actually do that or, or talk someone appropriately qualified through it.